Hi there, welcome to end to end solution architecture session. Today we will be talking about creating Power BI dashboard from Azure storage account. So basically the business case is that what if you want to create your own cost report in your Power BI dashboard. We know that we have the cost analysis in Azure portal where you can see um, the pay as you go cost or uh, monthly amortized cost. But if you want to drill down or basically if you want to customize your cost report and want to play with the raw data, then basically you will take the as your cost export into Excel or CSV and then uh, in Microsoft Excel, you basically play with the pivot tables and all. But in this solution, what we are trying to achieve to automate this thing into Power BI dashboard. So basically the flow is we create an export scheduler in cost export as your cost export and it stores the uh, files basically export file which is in csv file in azure storage account or blob container and then we integrate power bi which will fetch those files and will show the report in power bi dashboard so it is a very simple flow over here so let me take you over azure portal where on the screen as you see that i have created the cost export over here so uh, i have created for all data focus cost actual cost and amortized cost so well let me just simply uh, give you an overview that if you click on this create button you will get the option to create export so basically it is the way we create the scheduler now it will ask to uh, select the type of export we want in my case, what I did uh, quickly uh, that I selected all data, but you can customize by uh, for your own uh, report or otherwise you can select the template like this cost and uses and uh, then uh, for focus amortized actual actual amortized like this. So I have selected the all so uh, the one I created. So if I select the all you will find that actual all amortized actual cost amortized cost and focus cost are there and the frequency is by default it is daily so but you can edit this frequency or what you want so i clicked on this edit button small pencil button and uh, it is opening a pop-up well now on the pop-up you see that you have your type of data export uh, name you can update this export name doesn't matter it has the data set version and it has the frequency as well. So if you uh, click on this drop down, you will find that it is one time export, daily export of month to date cost and other two options. So for this quick reference, what I am doing that selecting one time export. Now when you select one time export, it will ask you for the from time and to time. Okay. And it takes for the same month only. So what does it mean that if I uh, uh, suppose want to select uh, June whole July whole month so I'm selecting July 1st and it will it is saying that period cannot exceed one month so it is not going to take July 1st to August 2nd so let me take it uh, to July 31st and when I am taking it to July 31st and it is okay and now I just click so in our case, what happens this actual cost, uh, it is a custom frequency one time and for other two are daily frequency. Okay. And you give a export uh, prefix means the name only suppose EXP demo and click on next. Here it will ask for the destination, basically your storage account uh, details. So the storage account type is as your blob storage. Okay, and we are selecting uh, use existing if you don't have the existing storage account then you can create by clicking on selecting this option uh, create new 
now selecting the subscription uh, we'll say, uh just selecting the subscription and selecting the storage account it, it is uh fetching the storage account we have so this is the storage account and you give a container name and the directory so if i give a container name suppose exp demo and um, but the store so directory where it will be the folder it will store all those export suppose export okay and uh, enable partitioning because partitioning is a good uh, thing if you have lot of data in your um, uh, cost also by it will basically uh, slice it into multiple uh, files so that is a good thing now if we just click on next it will basically show you the review plus create and it is ready to create your thing so as i said that i have here the, uh, the export for all data of focus cost actual cost and amortized cost and uh, here the frequency for all three i have custom one time okay so here what you uh, can do that since it is one time and if you want to manually uh, run this export job basically so you select whatever the job you want um, either one or select all in my case and click on run so once you will click on run it will basically start uh, scheduling and executing in my case i have already executed it so i'm just showing you one that is uh, if you click on actual cost it will open a pop-up and here you see that uh, the execution history it shows and uh, the execution status is succeed so what does it mean that execution status succeeded it means that it has exported the actual files into our blob storage so let's go to our blob storage so here i have my blob storage open um, you can uh, simply go to your storage account and the blob storage for the particularly blob storage which you selected during creating your export cost export and under uh, blob storage the directory directory name you uh, provided in my case i provided export and under that you will find that all three or uh, the number of uh, the type of uh, cost data you wanted to select okay now here you will get from the date under this you will get the date range you know, with date range and uh, inside that the subscription and inside that you will find a manifest.json and a part uh, .csv since we did the partition based export okay so uh, and, uh, um, let me show you that how the uh, this csv looks like now if you download the csv you will find the csv like this now this is the time that you, what we want that we want to integrate power bi with this blob container so that power bi can fetch the blob container data those csv file and we can create dashboard into power bi and that's our uh, part two goal